welcome to my channel, Veganize Lioness Love. My name is Marlise and I want to talk to you today about putting pen to paper. Writing not only is a form of being creative, it is a wonderful outlet for getting your feelings out, feeling free and feeling better and releasing everything that's stuck down deep inside of you. Feelings sometimes you don't even know you have. And journaling is a wonderful thing to do on a daily basis. As I remind myself, <laughs> I need to do this more often too. With all the change going on, um, I myself has, have lapsed in my journaling. It is so amazing and so wonderful and you get out more than if you speak it. So a quick story. I was in the market the other day and the young lady that was bagging my groceries was saying she was on a activities committee at school that she loved and they have canceled it for this year because of COVID. And she does not know what will replace this section in the yearbook. She had asked her teacher what they could do about it and her teacher doesn't know. So I suggested to her that it's time to get creative. And she said, well, that's actually what my teacher said. <laughs> There's always a solution. Typically, when we take the emotion out of the equation, um, that's when we receive our answer. And I felt her energy of, of loss and sadness and despair even of this activity that she deeply enjoyed that had been taken away from her. I felt her heartache. This was a couple days ago and it stuck with me. Um, the feeling, you know, feeling so empathetic for these children now. They need an outlet besides playing games on their phone. They need to express themselves. They have so much bottled up in them of their concerns and for their future. They not only want, but they need to be heard. They are our future. And if we listen to them good enough, they will have the answers. What I think would be a great tool, especially now with the children um, back to school, is having them write a paper, an essay on how they were, how they're feeling uh, about their current situation with no restrictions and in their words, no holding back and no judgment. What changes they would like to see happen to our world and how they feel about a, a mandatory vaccine and being chipped like a dog or a cat, how they feel about protecting the animals. You might even find out that you have a child that would like to be plant-based, born a vegan. I know I certainly wish I had that option as a child. With this, you might rethink your dinner <laughs> menus. <laughs> How they feel about planting gardens and trees to restore our planet, to create a better place for them to live and have a chance to have families of their own someday and live a lifestyle of health and abundance in a sustainable world. 
planting gardens, would get them off their phones for a while and get them in nature, which is a beautiful thing just in itself. You might want to keep some tissues handy for <laughs> any of your HSY, highly sensitive youth. I don't know if I just made that up. HSP, highly sensitive people. <laughs> Those who are sensitive will be your empathic children and they are the ones that will have the true solutions moving forward. With doing these things, you never know. You can find out your child, your grandchild, your student is the next big creative writer of our future that can make great impacts on our world. An environmentalist, speaker, an engineer, their greatness is endless. This not only will bring out hidden talents, even better, it is a wonderful outlet for them to feel more at ease, allowing them to speak their minds, assist in releasing any fears and anxiety. Writing pen to paper is so amazing for releasing. And as we all know, children are like sponges. If the news is on, even if they're preoccupied with something else, it's still playing in the background and it's getting in their minds. You know, they're hearing the new normal, social distancing, mandatory vaccine. These kids have more pressure on them than we ever had when we were kids growing up with this stuff going on. Whether we want to come to terms with it or not, <laughs> children have more love and wisdom than adults <laughs> if we just listen to them. I would even recommend videotaping and sending hundreds and thousands of these children's voices from preschool to high school and college students. All their voices should be heard and send them to Washington. Flood them with the children's voices. Let their voices be heard. It will be their civil protest of them wanting a better world for themselves to live in to grow and expand their future. I'd love to hear what you think about this. I myself think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Listen to the children with no judgment. Ask them how they're feeling about everything. You will be surprised when you ask them what they say. And even better, have them write it. This is where the real truth flows, pen to paper. Even pick up a, a journal for them or a little notepad and a special kind of pen that they might enjoy. And on the first page, you can even write something in there like, this is for you to write your feelings whether you're happy, sad, frustrated, confused, joyful, whatever you want to get out and express with no judgment from anyone. These are your precious words that are valued. You are loved and you deserve to express yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. And check out 
my health is wealth printable ebook with inspiration and printable healthy food lists. The link is below. And I added a video, I'll add it here, of a delicious hearty dish that won't leave you hungry. I will add the link below also. Check out my website for awesome graphic tees. Uh, I'll add that link below also. And I have new ones and more coming. And I appreciate you all very much. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And have a wonderful, great day. Much love and much light. Thank you.